Yo, what up, YouTube? What up, what up, what up? Alright, man. I'm just letting y'all know. Straight up and down, like. I load cars at a retailer. A lot of people buying, noticing a lot of camping gear. Rifle bullet situations in people's trunks and what have you. It means that people are on high alert. You know, a lot of people who are quiet have common sense that are doing little things, making little moves to evade something. Like the flickering of a deer's ear when it senses that it's in danger. They get their groceries. I wish them a nice day. Some people, God bless them. When I can find it. The people who are peculiar to me or the people who, I don't care if they're asleep or awake. They have an aptitude of joy about them that is not common. It's not that they're just having a good day. Something under that. The spirit. And I could tell amidst all of these things and I have to say, God bless you. Have a nice day. And they're overjoyed. Very few. I'm surprised with so many Christians that formerly were outwardly professed a faith and bold in these times, me speaking the truth and directly speaking about the word of God, how quiet it could be sometimes. It's almost deafening. Or maybe nobody's saying nothing. The crickets mock us. I'm appalled. I can't even talk about the basics of my day. Certain things that happen. You guys, there's things in my testimony that I, I, I've experienced that I haven't had really the luxury of really getting out more so because I wanted to speak on things, you know, pertaining to, you know, my targeting is not something that may help somebody else since our targeting is so different. When you think of a structure, though, we're all targeting the aesthetics of each of our individual targeting is so individual, so nuanced. That's discernment. There's an intellect at play here. Never mind the technology. We're tested and tried constantly. Stress levels are rising everywhere. What people say, but more so what they don't. People getting these vaccines. Some people are comparing Trump to being some type of heroic figure. Do you guys know that the mighty men of renown were considered to be heroes? Directly look up the word. This man's considering running for office, allegedly in 2024. Our little car, some people uh, smell like the woods in their trunks. 
Trunks lined with plastic. For what? Some people seem to be making plans to head for the hills. This man's considering running for office. While others are planning on running for the hills. <laughs> it's just a discernment thing. Something to think about. Something to think about. I don't know if the office and the Lord are in the same place in these days and time. I can understand the people who headed for the hills. They've been doing a little bit of reading. The Holy Spirit been doing a little bit of seeing for them. Showing them something. This man's running for office. If he barely know the Lord, you might be running for the hills if you have that luxury. But no man right now thinking about God is thinking about running for the office. I could be wrong. Maybe that's speculative. Got a building. One of the addresses is 666 in Chicago. I can't let that slide. Yeah, he went on TV. He professed what the Lord did. And by all means, I hope to God that he was sincere. But I also remember a time and day where many people spoke about the Lord. And people are so much quieter now. I'm such an outcast, nonconformist. Everything I do is a problem. The evil things of this world are garnered as being good things. And this man is garnered as being good. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing a puzzle piece. The Bible talk about a retrobay mind. Biden sometimes forgets how to walk, forgets what he's saying in mid-speech. George Floyd, they got the verdict and everyone's happy. I ain't going to connect the dots. I have reason to believe a lot of people are clones. I'm just saying. Smoke and mirrors. This is the darkness of the day. I do grieve people who are lost. Not, well, I, of course, we don't like how we treat it, but more so, man, like, I'm going to tell you guys right now, man, people are, are, are without excuse. I could tell you right now. Things came upon me and in my life, <laughs> yo, dead asleep, dead asleep, dead asleep. Something roused me. The Holy Spirit did that. Some people say that the Holy Spirit got a tiny voice. You might just have a hearing problem. Something to think about, because I could tell you that. More so than how my life was going being dead asleep. Yo, something rocked me to my core and woke me up like a rocket ship. And that just goes to show you, man, like. I was dead asleep. And even though my life wasn't exactly right. I've, I've kept a sincere heart. So I can't look at what happens or what comes upon somebody and say, why did this happen? Because I don't have all the information. I don't have all the answers. I have to make peace with that. People make agreements that you don't know about. That's just the truth. If the things you say make sense, 
then why do everybody look at you so crazy? Not everyone is going, man. Now, everybody is with the Lord. We got to let go of these appearances. It's the same thing that happened in the Garden of Eden. You guys, I'm still seeking out my salvation with fear and trembling. Trembling. And if I'm concerned like that, how you just nonchalantly wake up in the day with all this going on? And they look normal. Boy, that's dark. The world is crazy. Some people have gotten into the concept. I could say that the world is like a simulation, but can I say that the world is a simulation, that we're in a, a, a computer, a hologram? I guarantee you nobody will say that when the skies crack open. When they hear the Lord reveal himself, when the archangels is flying low. A bearded man, white hair is on his head. They call him the ancient of days. Rise with the burning heat, his eyes like fire. And <laughs> you guys, I could look at a person at this point in my walk. I could tell if they're on stimulants. I could tell if it's illegal or if they're on a legal stimulant. I could tell if it's meth or caffeine. I could tell if they had more than a moderate amount of caffeine in their system. That ain't me, you guys. I can't do that. I don't got superpowers. I have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit can do that. It's like a hood. All the information is there. Now, if you're a witness and you doing the best you can to speak the truth and we up to this point and people ain't trying to hear it and it's still quiet. We kind of getting towards that zone where. What else can you really say or do? At what point does someone just choose not to see what's going on? At what point does someone just choose not to hear? At what point does someone fear and we're not given a spirit of fear? People worried about the Antichrist and the devil and, and, and shit like that. They need to be worried about the Lord. Oh man, is that the devil? Nah, nah, my nigga. That's the Lord. That's the Lord. You know, I've met people that said, I've asked them about God, and they said, yeah, he was a cool dude when he was alive. <laughs> when he was alive? Maybe you just dead. People still zones out, man. Like this. They running into things. No perceptual awareness. Wherever they look, their eyes, they just... I, I, I'm not, it gets aggravating because it's like people, it's like, how do you run into me? How do you drive? How do you do it? This thing right here, this mind, the brain, when you look around you, something is wrong. It's not working in people, man. A lot of people worried about what they could stock up and stuff like that. If you, and, and I heard a brother say, man, like, if you could do that, that's absolutely good. But this thing that's coming, there ain't no preparation for that. Unfortunately, I wanted to hear from the Lord. When my spiritual ear opened up, I heard from all kinds of spirits at different points and places. Some mock me, darkly ones. Allegedly, the wicked one knows who I am. Typically, that would make me terrified. But you guys, when you find fear of the Lord, 
I mean, the devil just quite frankly don't scare me. I'm, I'm, I'm scared of the Lord so much. The problems that the devil give me, I, I just have to deal with. You know what I'm saying? If you got, you know what I'm saying? The lower type of problems, who you going to call? I mean, how you going to deal with that? All this coming down, people still not looking for the Lord. There's a plague in Zechariah that causes people to be consumed while they stand. That's where they get these zombie movies from. It sounds like you talk about their skin rotting, their eyes wither away, and they face, hey man, this COVID thing that was simple at one point keeps mutating with these vaccines. It's like it's getting stronger. It's like this thing is eating the vaccine. I talk to you guys about people's consciousness because I can see, yo, ain't nobody awake talking about being woke. They talking about actual issues. You guys, that's a scary thing. People going in space looking for so-called aliens. That's because they don't understand dimensions. This world is a crazy place, man. This world is a crazy place. And through targeted, I, I realized something the other day watching a cartoon, man. When you see how batshit crazy we are. <laughs> yo, peace and love to y'all. But and, 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 honestly, yo, we don't deserve the Lord. We don't deserve the Holy Spirit. We are cuckoo. We are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And we think we got all our sense together. That's the truth. So, with that being said, you guys, I didn't did all I, I could really do. I mean, whatever the Holy Spirit gives me, you know, I will put forth in video, but. You guys, this small community we have, like me, I only get 20, 30 views. That's, it, Jesus had 12 disciples, you know what I'm saying? One of them was a hater, so he had like 11. You get more than five views, I ain't Christ. You must be doing, you might be doing all right if somebody half understand what, you know. Listen, man, this ain't about views. This ain't about any of that. I'm doing all that I can. And quite frankly, though, I love y'all, man. It ain't for y'all. It's so that I can at least say on Judgment Day to the Lord. I did the best I could with what I had. You guys, it's just way too deep for us. For any human being. Like, spiritual things, man. People play with that. Yo, and that's what's so funny, man. People play with this magic and stuff like that, like like it's some type of Fisher Price toy or something. You don't know. You don't know when you pull that yarn or whatever type of witchcraft or whatever people be doing. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know what you fucking with. You ain't fucking with something. Something's fucking with you. Our consciousness is it isn't even right. You got woke people dead asleep. There's a person talking about. Certain esoteric things, you guys. I would say stick to a baseline. Stick to the Bible. You know. At least have the Bible as your baseline. Perception is a funny thing. I was just explaining to a brother, man. Binaural beats. You could, you, you hear one BPM in one ear. And in the other ear, you hear another B, BPM. What your brain does is take both of those BPMs. And convolutes it into one beat. That's what your brain does. So if you were to describe what you're hearing. The perception of what you're hearing. Is not going to be accurate. Because in truth you're hearing two different beats. But you're going to describe one beat. Such as the saying that people play with this witchcraft. 
or whatever the heck they doing out here. And <laughs> you try to understand the spiritual realm and the physical realm. The spiritual realm is some is something that you're influenced by, but you you have no knowledge or really understanding by that. Don't you think it's funny that God says it takes faith to please him? It takes faith. Don't matter how good you can hear or see. It takes faith. He said, you don't have nothing, but you got me. So you got everything that you need. We can't calculate all of this. But my goal, honestly, was to reach people who are asleep and some of these young brothers and sisters to, to, to wake up. I don't care about clones. It ain't really about uh, George Floyd. It ain't really about um, brutality or anything. It's about injustice is injustice. If it happened to a black man, it would be just as bad if it happened to a white man, an Asian man, an Indian man. Don't matter. People talking about like the Sodom and Gomorrah thing. Yeah, that is a that is a thing. But quite frankly, the reason why the flood came in Noah's time, because God didn't like people killing other people. Now, look at our world. It's murder, Inc., the entire world. The witchcraft, people falling out and stuff, getting involved in that. Yo, man. I love the Lord. And quite frankly, I'm terrified of when he comes because I don't know. And when he comes, all these, what people think of Christ, that teary-eyed guy, rainbows and all that other stuff that they done turned into something else. Unicorns and Skittles fall out the sky. Hey, man. That ain't how he coming back. He's coming back. That justice they were asking for, he going to bring it. And they better hope they on the right side of things. Don't say then when the skies crack open. Oh, man. He's actually real. Nah, player. That's the, that, that make my stomach drop. That's a scary thing. It's too, it's too late then. You know. Don't wait till we show up. People are beyond reason. You can't tell them anything. People know everything. So to everyone, I just say peace. Try to keep a cool head. Forgive and respect everyone. Especially forgive. Use those opportunities when you get disrespected to forgive somebody because Lord knows that's what we need. If you forgive others, he'll forgive you. Those are opportunities. To get it right. Because there's a lot of things I need to be forgiven for. 100%. People forget the Lamb of God. Oh, a lamb, this, that, and the other. He's also called the Lord of Terror. Discern what side of him that you know him because there's people on the left side and there's people on the right one side he said depart from me i think it's the people on the left don't think that because you you know people <laughs> that's a perception thing oh he's the lamb of god okay okay we going we we going to find out we going we going to find out because he is the Lamb of God. But in order to bring peace and a world that only knows war. Hey, man. He's coming with them angels. And them saints. And, bro. Better have that house in order, bro. Because he got that act right. And it's going to be too late. It's going to be too late to take a gamble right now. Nobody said... Listen, you ain't going to be perfect today. You guys, accept the Lord is what I'm saying. Accept him now. It's a simple choice. Peace and blessings be with you all. I'm out.